Hi guys, the issue of immigration of course brings out the worst in many Tory MPs and Sir John Hayes was no exception. Here he delivered an excruciating speech on so-called illegal migrants and not asylum seekers. Perhaps John doesn't know the difference. He claimed like many right-wingers that lefty lawyers are supporting refugees because it's good for their bank balances. And he took a few pot shots at Gary Lineker too. Oh yes, and Brexit even got a quick mention. Have a listen to this tripe. Of course Britain should provide a safe haven for people in need, in genuine need. But it is a deceit to pretend the asylum system has not been gamed and the British people taken for a ride. It's, how has it been gamed? If 70%, over 70% of claims move on to the next stage of refugee status and those 30% or under 30% are eventually deported. How has the system been gamed? This is just rubbish. Economic migrants with no legal right to be here, enabled by fat cat law firms who've grown rich on the proceeds, aided and abetted, aided and abetted by militant interest groups who are determined to subvert the will of the people and cheered on, cheered on by vacuous self-indulgent celebrities leaving millionaire lifestyles <laughs> what sort of rubbish is this now what he's trying to do is of course he's trying to conflate the idea of asylum seekers and economic migrants but you would imagine he would be welcoming economic migrants because so many businesses are struggling to find the staff they need well no he doesn't he's not cheering that on because he supported brexit and he still thinks brexit is a good idea so it's, it's better that businesses are struggling. It's better that the NHS can't get the workers it needs, that care homes can't get the workers they need, that abattoirs, farmers, all of these hospitality can't get the staff that are required to continue to operate. That's what he wants. He wants them to be in that situation. But asylum seekers are a completely different issue. Why are you conflating the two? Ah, is it because you either don't know there is a difference or you want the public to believe that there isn't a difference? It may be uncomfortable. It may be uncomfortable for the bourgeois liberal establishment. But polls show that the British people, the British people want tough action on illegal immigration. So just a question, who is this liberal establishment? Who is in power at the moment? <laughs> Who has been in power for the last 13 years? Is he suggesting that the Tories are the liberal establishment? The liberal establishment, what, the, the Daily Mail? The royal family? The Tory government? If these, <laughs> these are the establishment and you're referring to them as the liberal establishment, who is in charge? Oh God. Indeed, polling last week showed that people support the principles of this bill. Mr Speaker, Benjamin Disraeli said justice is truth in action. Today, the government is giving voice to the true wish of the British people to restore justice to our immigration and asylum system. It is not extreme to want to cap all kinds of immigration. It is not immoderate to deport illegal immigrants. It is not um, if you cap immigration, then businesses won't get the workers they need. So you're happy with that. And no one's saying, nobody, nobody, I've not heard anyone say that you're not allowed to deport somebody who has uh, an in, uh, invalid claim. Who is saying that? Nobody's saying that. The Labour Party are not saying that. Even Jeremy Corbyn isn't saying that. Wh who's saying this? That it's, yes, the... No country should be allowed to deport anyone. Rubbish. Unreasonable. It is not unreasonable to give the government the tools they need to do just that. It is time to take back control of our borders. It is time to stop the votes. Yeah. <laughs> it's time to take back control. Um, this is a Brexiteer. I thought you took back control. I thought Boris Johnson got Brexit done. So when are you actually going to take back control? When is Brexit actually going to happen? Because the Brexiteers say that Brexit has happened, but then other Brexiteers are saying, no, it hasn't happened yet. Somebody's lying. 
Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot.